Oh, um, yeah, we're horrible vloggers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he followed me. Like, I felt him following me. All right, let's roll, butthole. dinner date situation. We are dropping Maxton off at my dad. This is the first sleepover Maxton will be having as a big boy. We will record some of our anniversary. You guys get to join our anniversary date with us, right? You excited, Marquifa? I guess, we'll see what we get into. <laughs> so, um, stay tuned, we'll be back. We just dropped off Maxton and it's heartbreaking, but we need the space from him. <laughs> That's awful. We love him, but we need some mommy and daddy time. But to heck what? It's hard. So hard. Amen. And he takes it so easy. He's just like, bye, yeah, mom. Like, bye, bye, dad. I love you. He don't even care. It does not face him. Whatever. That's a good thing. Though. At least yeah. you don't know, belong and get all upset and crown, right? Yeah, there's no attachment issues, though. I wonder if this kid's going to be like that. Probably with me, not you, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm the cool parent. Are you ready to get this anniversary date on? Oh, yeah, it's going to be, I mean, so much coolness. We're going shopping and to dinner. Marcus never talks slow until I turn on the camera. I get shy. That's what it is. We are here. Where are we at? Cafe de Sol. Cafe de Sol. Don't know where we're going to get. Honestly, I forget what they even sell in here because we haven't been here for, like, ever, have we, Mark? Nope. So, we will show you what we get. <laughs> Such an adventurous vlog, ain't it? Yep. Yeah, we forgot to completely even show our food before we're done eating. <laughs> Marcus is signing the bill. <laughs> so, what'd you get to eat since we didn't show it on camera? I got a pick three. I got soup, a panini, and sweet potato fries. And the only thing I got was pizza, so. With spinach. With spinach. Pizza with spinach. So, um, yeah, we're horrible vloggers. Let's <laughs> we forgot butthole. that. Couldn't Let's roll that hole. We stoked about trying to get food in our uh, Yeah, we were just so hungry. We just yeah. devoured it and then we were done, so. I don't know what you're saying. Now you're just Here's the cute cup. Here's the cute husband. That's me. Alright, let's roll that hole. Say that again, please. <laughs> Say that again. I got a man in there. And I said, Lauren loves these one mints from all of Garden. Andy's candies. Or Andy's yeah, mints. I, I told her, I said, this mint tastes just like those, but it's hard. Like my. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is not a PG channel. Um, <laughs> it's like Family Channel's bad. So bad. Don't let your kids watch this. If you hear this in the background, don't let your kids watch this. Right, I'm just going? kidding. I don't know where I'm going. We are going. To the strip club now. Go. We're going to a strip club. Which way am I going? Go left. So dinner was good. We suck at recording, so obviously we didn't have luck any of it. Cosmo prof? Mm -hmm. Sally's? Marcus totally wants to go There's to the glory th days. He Where's the old glory hole? Right there. Oh. Actually, that's Chili's. No, right back there is glory. Sorry, days. sir. This is... No, what's that? Do I turn right here? Yes. What's that one, um, that one old meme where the guy's like, uh, welcome to Chili's. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? No. I think you're making that up. I'm not making up you're anything. Just about rear end of this car because you're making me look at the video camera. I'm just making up that I'm in love with you. <sighs> Ain't that the truth? I'm just kidding. I love you. We're both very good at role play then. Because I'm thinking too. Ha! Whoa! Here, yeah, turn right here. Oh, this girl is dumb. Jeez. He's mean to me. This, this man right here, he's mean to me. This girl right here is dumb. Anyways, that is the end of this channel. <laughs> In our relationship. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, hi. <laughs> just kidding. We're back. Look at this guy. He's just going to be right out in the road. Rebellious. He's like, if I pull out in the center, ain't nobody going to hit me, right? Yeah. If I pull out, they're going to have to let me go. That's that's exactly that guy's mindset. Let's pull out game strong. <laughs> She's choking. <clears throat> you and you think our children's going to turn out semi-normal? <clears throat> Oh, woman. Do you think our kid? <laughs> yeah, it's totally her fault. She just about ran out Marcus, you were like in her lane. I'm, she's pulling out, Jack Wagon. Her pull out her, game's weak. Her pull out game, uh, it was scary. <laughs> it's scary. She had a little scare there. She likes to live on the edge. Look at Marcus's park job. Isn't that, isn't that bad? 
You're bad to the bone, baby. Bad to the bone. Bad. It's because you got me on camera. I'm just nervous. That's what it is. So, Cosmo Prof was closed, so we ended up going to a Sally's. Sally's. A little old Sally Hansen. Yeah, they literally locked the door when we were about to walk we, in. I wish I would have recorded that. That was freaking funny. We were walking to the door, and the woman was locking it. <laughs> I was like, wow. That's our luck. Marcus bought me a bunch of lashes, and they're so freaking cute, and I can't wait to use them. Full bag full of lashes. Super excited about that. Now we're going to Walmart to see if we could get stuff for Maximus for Christmas, right? Yes. All right, let's roll butt hole. Look at that booty. Marcus don't have a butt. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Thank you. Hey, thank you for thanking me. Wow, Marcus, you bought yourself a trampoline? Yeah, I'm gonna jump on it all the time. Good. It's not for our kids, it's for you. Wait, wait, no. Okay, so we were in Walmart and it was crowded, so of course I didn't really record much other than Marcus's booty as we were walking out. But there was this guy who confronted me and he's like, he followed me. Like, I felt him following me too. Did I tell you that? He, like, I felt his presence like behind me. And next thing I know, he goes, excuse me, ma'am, are you pregnant? I'm not, just, I'm really bloated. <laughs> it's just too much Taco Bell. I really gotta poop. It literally was when I was with Ma when I was pregnant with Max and all I ate was Taco Bell. But yeah, like, dude. Like, bro, come Obviously, on. I'm pregnant. And he's like, do you mind if I tell you a joke? And I'm like, I guess, go ahead. And I don't even remember what the joke was. It was something about two nuts and almond joy. But always have like the, the, the creepy people or the, the different people confront me like and they say weird stuff like that. But I thought, other than that, like the guy was super nice. And honestly, kind of made my day in a way because it was like so random. But it always happens at Walmart. So, like always have different people like approach me at Walmart. Like the one guy who asked me if I wanted to go to a festival. That, that was so random. He's like, hey, hey, hey you. And I was ignoring him, but I knew he was talking to me. And he's like, you. You, hey you. He's in a wheelchair, he had a red beard, red hair, and he's like, do you like festivals? I'm like, also to throw in there, I was eight months pregnant with Maxton at the time, and the guy was totally stoned out of his mind, like he was not there. I don't know if he even knew he was asking me to go to a festival with him. No, not really. <laughs> he's like, there's a festival going on down the road if you want to go. I'm like, no thank you. And I'm like, have a good day, and then I walked away, but it's, it's always at Walmart, Mark. He's ignoring me. I'm talking to myself. You just, you mumble on too much. It's terrible. Anyways, I'm gonna go cry now. Bye. So, um, we're walking in the JCPenney right now. And I just realized that that joke that that guy told us is perverted. So not only did he pull me over to ask me if I was pregnant, but then ended telling us the story about what is two inches with cream in the middle. Inches. Two and a half inches has cream in the middle and two nuts. And I just now got the joke. <laughs> Marcus is like, you're dumb. Now he wants to get a divorce on our anniversary. <laughs> I can't believe I just now got that. That's funny. So American Eagle has some scratch and sniff boxers and I think Marcus should get some. No. You want some? No. You don't want scratch and sniff? Or they have like one that you can color. The mall was a bus. There was nothing in there, nothing. So we are going to go to Dunkin' Donuts now. Not get donuts, but to get coffee, right? <coughs> yep. And then probably go to Dick's and see if they have any Under Armour clothes for no, I don't like Maximus. Dicks. Change of plans, we ended up going to Ollie's. Yay, yay! Hopefully it's not windy, but now we are at Ollie's. What is wrong with you? I'm really considering getting one of these, the premium control back support, or down here, the heavy duty elastic support belt. Do you think that would help? Probably not. It's only five bucks. Oh man, I'm telling you all, my back is killing me so bad. So bad, and I'm only 24 weeks. So Anakin looks at you. How's Anakin looking? <laughs> he does that, he'll be laying on the couch and you'll look at him and be like. And then if you're talking to him, he goes, and you stop talking, he goes. <laughs> but it's like, as soon as you go to talk about. Like he's listening. So we just got out of Dick's. We actually got a decent amount of stuff from Dick's. Why do you laugh? <laughs> of course, I buy only fans. <laughs> Why would they put that on their car? I don't know. It's kind of funny. That made me laugh. Well, I would show you all, but it's so small. I don't know if you can see it. 
It's super small, but um, they Showing buy a, my life. they buy only fans. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Mark. She tells me that all the time. <laughs> what? Super small. I can't help it. I can't even hear you because you're whispering. <laughs> I don't want you to hear me. He keeps saying his only fan is small. Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. This looks so good. Oh I got a large. I didn't realize it was ginormous. Holy cow, Marcus. Eat up, buttercup. You're going to eat some of this. Oh, thank you, baby. You're welcome. Let there be light. Mm -hmm. From the tray to the mouth. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, that can't be good for you. <laughs> I've always been tastes. told if it tastes good, it ain't good for you. Well, that definitely ain't good for me then. That is it for this week's video. Thank you all for watching. I love you so much, and I hope you're having the best freaking week ever. If you're not, I hope it gets better, and love you. God bless. Bye.